I finished building this harpsichord from scratch in 2013, after about one and a half years of work. In contrast to a grand harpsichord, which has strings running front to back, a virginal has strings running left to right and takes up a lot less space. The case is veneered plywood with solid walnut trim. The marquetry on the case is tiger stripe maple with swags and ribbons of walnut and a surrounding crossband of padauk. This design was inspired by an 18th century Chippendale desk. The lid features an oval fan, which was also frequently used by Chippendale and other 18th century craftsmen. Lyre is an ancient forerunner of all stringed instruments and inspired the harpsichord stand. It's made from solid walnut and brass rod. In front, the keyboard is covered by a drop lid on a hinge. When opened, the keys are revealed. This instrument has 54 keys covering about four and a half octaves. The light keys were traditionally covered with ivory or bone, which was out of the question. There is a fake ivory available, but I decided I'd rather have real wood than fake ivory, and so I used maple for the light keys. The dark keys are ebony. The fretwork was done on a scroll saw with 1 8 inch maple. Also, note the arcades at the front of each key. This was actually fairly easy to do with a drill press and three sizes of Forstner bits. Opening the lid reveals the sound well. A music stand holds the lid open. A harpsichord works by plucking the strings. Each key is a lever, and when you push down on one end, the other end rises up and raises a jack. Each jack has a quill that plucks the string. The jack rail simply keeps the jacks from flying out of the instrument. The strings pass over the bridge, which transmits the vibrations to the sound board at the bottom of the cavity. The strings then wrap around tuning pins, seen at the far right. Virginal actually has two bridges, seen here as the two curved walnut pieces. The left and right sides of the sound board actually vibrate independently. Sound boards are made from thin softwoods, such as spruce. I couldn't find spruce, but I used a wood called Port Orford Cedar, which is another traditional choice. The inside of the lid, by the way, is veneered with bird's eye maple. A hole in the soundboard lets it resonate, like the hole in an acoustic guitar. They were often decorated with a very ornate rose. I cut out a simple design from brass. The keyboard started with a glued up blank of basswood. The light and dark tops are applied, then the keys cut out. Each key has a pin at the rear that rides up and down in a slot in the back. I found that this rack was the second hardest part to make. The red felt helps dampen the sound of the jacks rising and falling. Small weights help balance the keys. Barely visible are the balance pins that each key lever rocks back and forth on. Here's the keyboard in the case. The jacks are held in place vertically by a part called the register, which really was the most difficult part to make. The inner part of the sound well had to be veneered and finished before assembling the case. These oak liners support the sound board all around the perimeter. The heavy diagonal oak piece is called the rest plank. It holds the tuning pins and must resist the force from all the tension strings pulling on it. The triangular space to the right of the rest plank makes a little storage space for your tuning fork and other tools. In some harpsichords, this triangle, and another extra one on the left, were lopped off to make a five or six sided instrument. With the casework done and the keyboard fitted, it's time to veneer. My trusty apprentice. She likes removing veneer tape. Everything done but the lid. The finish is shellac done as a French polish. Stringing it, tuning it, and getting it to sound half-decent has been an ongoing struggle, but it's finally ready for a little action. Final touch is a matching bench with the lyre base. 
If you're interested in building a harpsichord but want to avoid some of the more difficult parts, I'd recommend building one from a kit. Kits are available in many models, including this Italian virginal from Zuckerman Harpsichords at zhi.net.